Okay, so to recap again, section, one or more, categories, articles, okay? Templates, templates control the look of the website. You can change templates pretty easily. You can install new ones, you can buy them, you can do whatever you like. Is everyone with me up to this point? Are you, are you with me? Yeah. Okay, you're with me, very good. Well, well yes, but the thing with templates is, is it just for, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not quite with you in terms of what temp templates do. Okay. Templates control the look of the website. Um, they control whether the site looks like this, with Guggen time on the top, or whether it looks like this. These are different templates. They control layout. They control where you can place different pieces of information, and what colors things are going to show up, what color the links will be, um, what color a visited link will be, what color and what f f font the headline will be over here. Um, it, it creates places for pictures, but it doesn't actually put pictures unless they're no. part of the actual template. But pictures are usually part of your content that you control on the back end. Okay. So is that, is that an explanation? Okay. Templates are fun. Um, you can get a little carried away, but they're, they're, they're cool and uh, nice to play with. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about before we go into creating a site plan, which is what we're going to do next for your you know, real sites, is that um, extensions. Extensions are things that extend Joomla. Is that clear as mud? Everybody's with me? Okay, very good. What, you, that works for you? Sounds logical. It sounds very logical. <laughs> extensions um, let you do more things than just do sections and categories and articles. They're the things that let you make forums on your website. They're what you let, photo galleries on your website. Um, they're the things that let you have slideshows on your website. These are extensions. They're things that you kind of stick into Joomla and make them go. And um, there's thousands and thousands of extensions. And if you're ever like really need a good time, you just spend hours browsing the extensions directory. It's great Saturday night. It's excellent. Good time. <laughs> so what you do if you want to browse the extensions directory is you go to extensions.joomla.org. And then you will quickly be overwhelmed because there are 4,979 extensions at this point. Okay. These are all things you can add to Joomla to make it do more stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff you will have never have any need for. There are extensions that will show you the weather in Turkey. Not very useful. But there are also extensions that are crazy useful, and some of those we've already installed for you on the website. Um, so if you go back to the back end, and you can explore this at your leisure. It's listed on your sheet of, of uh, URLs and stuff. Um, and these extensions are also reviewed by the community. So extension has like five stars, you know it's good. Extension has two stars, you know it's bad. And people write reviews and say, well, this did this for me, but it didn't do what I wanted, which was such and such. So it's really useful to read the reviews before you install anything. But we're going to go into installing extensions a little later. Am I jumping around too much? No, good time. Okay, you're all, you're all good. Okay. Okay, so this was our front end. This is our back end. Some of the, com the extensions that we have on here, there are components. Components are kind of the heavy lifters of the extension world. They do a lot. They're kind of like miniature programs inside of Joomla. You all have these extensions installed. The first one is a backup extension that lets you back up your website. And we're going to talk about that later. And you also have a written text on how to back up the website and restore it. The next thing on here is, says banner. That's actually part of Joomla. It's one of the basic things that's included with the package, and I never use it. It's a way to display advertising banners. There are other ways to do that as well. Contacts also comes with Joomla, but again, I never use it. It's a way to display contacts, but we have a better way to do that. There are actually um, two calendar extensions installed here, just so you can look at them. Usually, you would not use two calendar extensions. The first one is gcalendar, which is a way to integrate an existing Google calendar into your website. The advantage is that a lot of people use Google Calendar. They like it. They know how to use it. They don't want to get involved with something else. It's very simple. The next thing on there is called JCE. And that's actually the editor that we saw when we were editing our, our article. Those things that we saw on the, on the top, the little icons and stuff that let you do things like you know, take away formatting or insert things, that's JCE. And Joomla comes with an editor, but JCE is better, so we just add it on. Okay. You don't need to go in there and do anything. It's basically just there, JCE. It's not something you play with. J events is the other calendar extension. Um, it's powerful. It's a little bit more. It's more complicated than using a Google Calendar, but um, you can do a lot of cool things with it. You can create lists of upcoming events. Um, you can you can use other things that work with it in order to do paid registrations. There's a lot of stuff you can do with J events that you can't do with Google Calendar. Linker is another thing that you don't need to worry about, but you but you will use it. It's when you're editing articles. It gives you an easy way to link to other articles. Okay. 
News feeds comes with Joomla. I never use it, but you certainly can to display news feeds, RSS feeds. Foca Gallery is the photo gallery we've installed. Polls comes with Joomla. I don't use it, and nobody else pretty much uses it. They're taking it out of the next version of Joomla. Um, Q Contacts is a better version of Contacts, and that's how we use it, which lets you make contact forms, you know, contact us. Search comes with Joomla. Update Manager um, is lets you update Joomla. Joomla is kind of the core system. Right now, it is at 1.5.17. That is the latest version. If you wait a while, it will be 1.5.18. At that point, you will want to update your website. And there are complicated ways to do that and simple ways. Update Manager is the simple way, which is why we included it. Web Links comes with Joomla. I never use it. It's a way to display links. OK. So all we've done so far is, you tell me, what, what did we do so far? <laughs> Uh, we looked at how you can get extensions to add on, and then we explained what all these different components are, which I guess are extensions, so they come in the... They're extensions. Some of them were added in. Some of them we did. And, and which one is a photo gallery? Photo. Photo gallery. OK. And what is JCE admin Administrator? What is that thing? JCE. Uh, JCE gave us the um, things that we were clicking to move around. Yeah, it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's actually the, it's the editor. editor. It's, it's actually it's called Joomla Content Editor. And what is G Calendar? Me. You. Uh, it's uh, links to Google Calendar. It's, it's actually a way to create embedded Google Calendar inside your website. What is uh, Kiba Backup? Kiba Backup. I don't know. It lets you create a backup. Oh. Okay. Where does that backup go? You, there's ways to set that up in in the parameters and stuff. You can have it. There's lots of things you can do with that. You can save it to. Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it later. Wait. Are components basically a flavor of extension? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Very good. And there are other flavors of extensions. There are modules, and there are plugins. So, so the com components menu is where the extensions are, and the extensions menu is how you manage the extensions. Nope. That would that would be make too much sense. Okay. Um, even though components are a type of extension, on this menu it says extensions and components separately. That's because components are so big that they need their own menu item. But actually, if you go under extensions, you will see that there is a module manager and a plugin manager. And they've also stuck the template and language manager in. Module manager and plugin manager. So we said we have components, which are big and do lots of cool things. We have modules, and we have plugins. Modules tend to display information. They tend to be often in boxes that kind of go around the main content. I'm going to show you examples. OK. So we go right here. OK, modules. Upcoming events. This is a module. It's displaying information. In this case, it's actually taking it from a component. Member login is a module. It's giving people a way to log into the website. This blog is a module. It's showing the beginning of some blog entries. It's actually linked again to a component that does blogs. Frequently asked questions is a module. The only thing in this module is some text that they typed in, which says find answers to questions about using features. And they made a link. Okay. These are all modules. Also, menus are modules. This thing on the bottom, home membership giving, this in itself is a module. This is also a module up here, this menu up here. This month's sponsor is a module. All it is is an image with a title. Monthly Temple Trivia is a module. And so is this, and so is this. These are all modules. Some of them are custom modules with just some text. Some of them are modules that were installed that um, link to other things like this blog. Some of them come with Joomla, like, a, like the login. Okay, these are all modules. And so the way that one behaves is a part of the module. If you install that module, the little bouncing up happens with it. Yes. This particular module has a bounce. And it lets you control how far it bounces up and what the text is. And you, you can change the images, obviously, that are there. OK, so this uh, is. Is it the template that determines where the modules go? Yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. OK. And each template has its own positions, which is like a pain in the neck. OK? So every, these are all positions. But does Joomla have to run the entire site, or can it be? Like, can you do an HTML side? Members and can move furniture around in the positions that we have. There are some limitations to that. In, in other words, uh, probably if we put this 
here it wouldn't work that well for everyone to see. So there are some limitations and positions are built in into the room or into the template. And these modules can be uh, published or unpublished. So if tomorrow the owner of this site wanted to have here um, a registration module, right? This part, wanted to put it here, they can. They can exchange this almost with no effort, just by a click of a mouse. So think of this as both a nice feature, you can move stuff around, but also there are some limitations so that, um, right, we could move the menu in, but we couldn't put the menu right here, right? We couldn't put it here unless we created a custom module, which is kind of a more uh, advanced feature. Does that make sense? Yes. 